we have made it to Cartagena, so we are, we are in the local neighborhood right now. Um, this is what it looks like everywhere in Cartagena. Uh, they all lock themselves up in these places. We're gonna go to the beach today and show you what the beach content is like, and then on top of that, maybe go out tonight. So come with, and let's get into it. We're just walking in the local neighborhood right now. We are going to go to the beach, so we are. Little moto taxis waiting around. No, no quiero, gracias. Um, like I guess I'm going to the beach today, absolutely gas because I spent like a month at the beach in Medellin and we're going to take the local bus now and show you what it's like to come from a local neighborhood and basically make our way to Boca Grande, start to live inside Boca Grande, or in the walled city as they call it where all the tourists live. We are living in the local barrio. First couple of days was stress because we couldn't get a freaking apartment or anything. Luckily I have friends here from the last time was able to stay with them and today we're kind of getting something sorted that I'm going to show, hopefully show you later on in the videos and stuff like that. This is one of my good friends but she's so annoying sometimes so she is, she always wants to do things her way. Mira, ay ay ay. Right now I asked to say, we wait for like a local bus to pass by so we can get to the center. She's like, no, no, I never do this in my life. Look at her, she's better than everybody else. So I don't know what we're waiting for. She's not telling me what we're waiting for but we're going to find out. We are sweating like crazy, so we are about to hit this bus to Boca Grande. So we are uh, we have to basically recharge our card in the pharmacy store. I didn't even know that you have to do that in the pharmacy store. I have my own little card now because she has given me one. But here is the local bus that we gotta take. Let's see what happens. The bus is actually pretty nice. Maybe like another. 15 minutes before we get to the beach. I'm sweating. I'm gonna be so red today. I don't know how the party's gonna go later on either. We're gonna find out together. This is the clock tower, and this is where Kelly says I work. <laughs> so, like I said, we may go back there later on. I don't know what the plans are, but we're going to the beach now. We are off the bus. Check it out. Oh, I'm busting myself. We're gonna go to the store. They have Olympicas or Dionos. I'm gonna grab some water, some snacks and stuff for the beach. Don't know how it's gonna go. Yes, okay. Um, and then we're gonna go walking straight over and see what the crack is for today. There's no clouds in the sky, which I like. And we got our oil, that's what we do. I don't buy sunblock, this is not good for you. I just personally think that I'd rather vitamin D and be burned. Um, yes, don't get on to me about problems that can happen with that, but but they go inside and grab some water. She thinks she's the shit as well, it's crazy. We're in tourism right now. I haven't seen that many though walking around trying to buy some water now this is like the local store, it's not too bad to be honest, it has everything better than kind of D1 I would say because D1 runs out of food and stuff but yeah she's mad that I got her walking now to go to the beach no, gracias, amigo. this is like the extended like the beach and stuff over here it wasn't actually this long all the time they got like scouts just waiting outside for you just to try to sell you something we're gonna go down lower I want to see what happens and I'm going to take you through. I'm going to just speak English as well and make it into like a little joke. Okay, this is like one of the places that actually made me famous in my TikTok videos beforehand. We're about to walk onto the beach and I'm going to show you what it's like, see if we get catcalled by anybody. I'm just going to act like a complete tourist. There's a few tourists lying around, but they're not really annoying them, but I don't know. How you doing? Like I said, we just got into the beach, so we're going to see what it's like. No sabe español. Disculpa. No sabe. Ella, ella tiene dinero, yo no tengo nada. <laughs> Hablando con ella. Umbrella? ¿Eh? Sombría? Mm, ahora no, estoy caminando. Gracias. Beach vibes is pretty good so far. Um, again, you're just met with people that just walk onto the beach. Now he's bothering her, <laughs> which is kind of my plan. <laughs> but like I said, it's much more different, it's, it's so much bigger so it is than it was last time. We're gonna walk down to the shore and then we're gonna just pull straight across and see what it's like. Okay, I thought we were in the right spot the last time, but we weren't. Um, we're about to head into the beach now, so we are. And um, we're gonna see. This is the place where you enter and they're just gonna bother you like crazy. It happens because they gotta sell because they don't make that much money here. But on the beach, the coastal side, they be exploiting you for money. So we're gonna walk now, as you can see. Got some other ones that left already. And I'm just gonna get bothered non stop. But I wanna say that she's the rich one. Don't talk to me because I don't have nothing. But I just look like a biggest target, so I do. Biggest white gringo you're gonna see in your life. And I'm just gonna speak English to the camera as well, so I am. 
but then I, whenever they talk to me I just want to reply in Spanish because it's just easier but check out this is the scenes just walking in nobody's actually said nothing Zaza made a video here like about a month ago and kind of the tourism board got on to all the people to not annoy anybody so it's very quiet so it is like I said it's how we Yes. Just walking now. We have our guides walking up us too. So let's see what they're saying. Trying to sell us some stuff. Beach looks nice, so it does take it out. It's funny because I can hear them talking shit. Do you know what I mean? But I'm just not gonna. I'm just gonna ignore it. So I am. Gracias a Dios. Tú tienes dinero. Yo no tengo nada. Y tú sabes español. Como tú quieres. Estás millonario en dólares, ¿cierto? 20 mil pesos. Vamos a pedirle que le da credit play ahí. 20 mil pesos. Millonario en dólares. ¿En serio? No, Three people in the yellow following us right now. <laughs> Life is so good. I am too many lions, no? Tanto. Ay, Dios mío, amor. She's gonna beat me up. Para portugués. Vos se para portugués. Ay, uno y uno. Ay, gracias. Ay. Toma, toma. Pasa, pasa, pasa. Eso! Otra vez! Por aquí, Pop! Ya! ¡Ay! ¡No! ¡Fuera! Sí. ¡Fuera, fuera, fuera! ¡Fuera, fuera, fuera! ¡No gol! ¡No gol! ¡Dale, dale! ¡Otra! ¡Ay! Fuerte, fuerte. Ahí está. A mano. We're out here training everybody, so we are right now. Solo los niños. She want me. She want me. Amigo. Dale. Mira el fondo. Mira, mira la cámara. Mío. ¿Y tú no sabes? No. Tú no sabes. Muéstrame. Ay, yo sí sé, yo sí sé. Mira. Ay, no, con la mano. Ese. Mira. Y, y tú ahora, vamos. ¿Vas a subir ese video? Eh, en YouTube, sí. Uh, es mi nombre, ¿y qué le dice This is the scenes, we're just leaving the beach right now. Sunsets in the back over there. People just chilling on the beach. Like I said, <laughs> you have these walking around all over, but oh, it's full cool. But like I said, don't, don't, put, don't go for them, don't do anything. They're gonna show to your right hand side here. And there's gonna be all sorts of prostitutes, and then you got people trying to do massages and stuff out there. Vamos. Just leaving. Just leaving the beautiful beach behind right now. So we are walking to go meet a friend who's uh, supposedly rich. I want to see how that goes. Played football with him last time. Again, so lucky to make contacts like that around the world. Come with me. This is the scenes right now. Just left Boca Grande. Hotel Caribe right here. Caribbean Hotel. Still doing construction. The beach got a lot bigger, and this is the vibes right now. We're in the famous clock tower right now. Um, there's not that many people walking around that you would expect to see right now. Obviously, you gotta wait till later on. Again, the whole thing seems to be under construction. I don't even know why, to be honest. Y'all keep on coming. There's a rooftop. I think it's that one right there. The little short one of the flowers on top. That is called EV, so that's like one of the best places, in my opinion, for techno house music to go to. So check that one out when you come here. But like I said, it's a little square right now and everything seems to be being done. Sweating like crazy, just know 
um, it is like 35 degrees and it's always going to be like this in Cartagena probably even hotter because the sun like the UV is like 11 12 like I was burnt like a couple days ago but what I want to say to you says stop coming like you said driving up the price like crazy I can't get nothing for any old prices anymore it's just completely like flooded with more and more tourists there's a, like two or three flights coming in every day and it's just non-stop like international flights I'm talking about and you're just driving up the prices like you're bringing in all the dollars and stuff out there and can't get nothing anymore walk into like one of the kind of favorite little plazas or whatever um check this out I'll let you see what it looks like first and then I'll talk a little bit about it like I said, if you got a girl, you're gonna get some nice pictures here and stuff out there. But as you know, we are riding so below. You got the Colombian ladies over there. The one thing I feel like Colum or Cartagena is missing in particular is that if you came up to me and you're a beautiful girl on the beach and you are asking me for a massage, yes, take my money. If you are a beautiful Afro-Colombian lady, young, trying to put on a show or something for me, yes, take my money. They seem to just have like the older generation doing that and I know everybody else is working or in school during the day hence why they leave it up to the older generation to do all the tourist haggling during the day but again in my opinion I'm just not if I'm young I'm not gonna want to give you my money especially if you're missing teeth if that makes sense do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth so <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that currently just gonna walk around here show you a little bit about the little center the little protected tourist castle zone that they got going on here in Cartagena and then we're gonna see if we can go and show you what the nightlife is like later on in the video and hopefully everything goes as planned today but this is one of the supposed to be popular squares but as you can see it is quite dead right so you got the vibes here now this is like one of the crazy old castles and monuments as you can see you got your lady trying to get in for the picture and stuff out there i don't hate everybody's got to make money i understand that can be quite annoying check out these little features they got going on everybody's sitting around again a lot of tourists doing their little tour here and mainly germans if i'm being honest with you that's kind of got that kind of cash though ways then you got the odd weirdos that are coming and freaking their boy squad trying to hope that they're going to do something in colombia where they're here for like three or four days i'm going to show you them right now look at them oh wow the style is crazy but anyways check it out beautiful square like i said this is where we're at right now so it is gracias señor no quiero nada yo soy de europa europa europeo si sí, si sí, si sí. no como eh. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, we are still continuing on Middle Square. We've got a lot of paintings on the side of the road. We got these dudes over here that are freaking. I don't even know they're, they're black. What do you mean by that? Black. I'm not being racist. Uh, but like I said, we're just walking down this beautiful ass street right now. Loads of paintings. Everybody's trying to sell stuff. Everybody's trying to show you what they have to offer. Like I said, this is what it's like in Cartagena. They all. This is their tourism, they try to make money from this here. And like I said, the average wage is 40,000 a day. So you have to understand that there and basically not judge them for that. Walking to another park right now. I'm just going to spend our time here during the day and see what's up. Right. Basically explaining that I'm waiting on messages from my friends to see if we're active for the club tonight, who's going to be there, what we're doing. And this little kid was like laying up with me and just chatting with me in Spanish because he's walking around trying to sell stuff all the day. Tried helping him out a little bit, sat up for a while. But that's basically all it was. And I don't want to get sound flagged with the guys rapping in the background using the audio. Yes, we're here at the first cut here in Colombia. Check us out. Boy's going to get his gun rights. Let's go. My home boys. Okay, bro, nice fade, everything short, everything like this, okay? Let's see. Un fade, pero. No alto, no alto, no alto. Quiero más cabello por ahí. Okay, we are out here and get the fresh cut, so. I guess I'm gonna go in real quick, eat something, and then we're gonna see how we go out tonight. Fingers crossed, everything goes well. Take you with. We were supposed to go home, but now we got into this game because uh, they're busy fighting. There's not enough teams and stuff like there, so I'm gonna lay up and we're gonna watch the basketball for a little bit now and check it out. Everybody's like heated because they're all trying to play, but they don't have full teams and stuff like there, so. <laughs> So they want me to play, but they don't have size 44 shoes, or else I would hop in with them. But because they're playing bigger games, they were playing fours, but now they're trying to play full half, 
whole court, but like whole teams. But like I said, we're wearing chanclas right now, so I can't freaking enter. Or else I would teach them. I'm actually not that good at basketball, to be honest. I'm just tall. The guy sold me a dream, dropped me off like 20 minutes away from my destination, walk wise. Like I said, walk into it now, so let's see how the night goes. I promise you that I'll go out or do something like that there, so we're gonna find out if it comes true right now. Listen, there's so many places you can take photos here in the center. You got freaking horses. I would go closer, but I'm not gonna bother them. Wish I had that kind of money. Let's go see what this square is like right now. We're so late. Like I said, I kind of plan everything somewhat. But like I said, we are, this is, this is the outfit, like I said, we're going to Trinidad Square and we're like 50 minute walk away. Got some people there, um, don't know, we're gonna find out together. <sighs> so we are going to be presented to my friend's friends right now. I have no, nothing in the system right now, currently running on fumes and feeling good after a haircut. I'm gonna see how it goes to be honest with you. I'm trying to find directions here because the guy screwed me so much. Like how long is the walk? 13 minute walk. My god, check it out though. In the middle of the square. So we are everybody's dressed and pressed and I'm wearing all black. Everybody's wearing all white, I don't know why, but check it out. We're currently walking here. I'm gonna see what oh my lord. So we look better, so we're not gonna worry about that there, so we're not. Let's go and see if we can cross over. Damn, now I'm actually seeing it because I went out like last weekend but I didn't go nowhere to sit in the square. Right now we're walking around just seeing all the girls are there and stuff out there and dressed up to the freaking 90s. Behind us is Clock Tower so basically we're walking to Trinidad Plaza right now. And like I said we're gonna hopefully get there soon enough. I am starting to sweat. I forgot that I didn't even spread cologne so we're just pulling up here stinking and I'm not gonna lie to you. Check out this here. This is like the middle center strip and there's still a lot of the night ladies going around there too. We're just trying to stay clear and just trying to get over to the destination with friends. They want to go out. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Getting here is just to give you a time context. It's 10 30 right now and the place is bumping so it is but it is Saturday so like I said they're all trying to give me tickets and stuff out there and trying to sell me you want Charlie and you want that type of stuff but no clean focused haven't even touched nothing running on pure fumes here to be honest but like i said everybody's heading this way to the square because they do like little night shows and stuff like that there may grab a little one there we're gonna find out the thing is i'm not even in a rush i'm just freaking stressed out because i'm meeting three of the friends on top of the one i'm supposed to meet like i said this is the square right now packed full of people a few little live shows in the middle where they gather people and they give them money as usual in every other country i'm gonna go to my little drink stand right now See if we can go get what we gotta get. Ay, perdón. Uh, walking around right now. Right here, Trinity cocktail. Order the drink, no me olvides. Didn't really record the favorite drink, but basically made it up too quick because they have it ready on demand. But like, this is the center right now. Check it out. When the dance show is going on, about to hit the corner over the far side, and then we're gonna see if we can meet the friends. And yeah, let's see what we get up to. I don't know who's driving the boat, but we're just gonna keep it moving so we are. Like I said, we are walking down the streets now before on my friends right now. And we're gonna have some more drinks and we're gonna see what it gets to. Okay, so it's gonna get sound flagged, but it's okay. But we are here in the middle of the crowd with everybody. Like I said, we're planning to go to Ibiza right now, so we do so we're gonna see how tonight goes. I was talking to a new person 
and she's one of the friends that she's here right now. And right now I just feel completely weird because I was with the friend from last time and now the new one is talking to me and basically... You uh, need a speaking English, no Spanish. No Spanish, Spanish son malo. Basically don't want to be getting sound fly, just basically explaining that we are trying to head to the club, all the girls are in the bathroom, we're having a good night, let's get it going. <laughs> Oh, we don't know. Ah, ves, Kerry. Pelea conmigo, entonces, vamos. Listen, listen. I feel, I feel like a prostitute right now. Porque. Oye, cómo va a decir eso. Because they walk me to the club. Ella es pagar para mi hoteles y todo. Y por eso me siento como una prostituta ahorita. Liar, 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 liar. He is a liar. Visa right now. I don't know how I ended up like this, but I told this I would bring you some content. Uh, don't know how it's gonna end. Evie says at the top soda, so let's see what we can do. Okay, so we're gonna be gonna walk towards the club right now and check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, um, oh yeah, por favor, un momento para mi video. Sí. Dame un momento. We're walking. Mira. Taking out the audio on this one so I don't get sound flagged. As you know, was with one of the girls from last time. The new one has been talking to me the whole night. I'm pretty sure you can work out who the new girl is. Didn't expect this night to end with everybody at my. What up? What up? 